Hello everybody, I'm Pastor Steve Green and today is Tuesday, May 26th and this is refresh number one for this week. Our subject is both sides of the coin are true. It's not unusual for Bible subjects to have two sides to them. Not always, but sometimes that's the case. And, and if there are two sides to a Bible subject, then obviously God's will for, is for us to be able to expand our hearts to embrace and see it from both sides. A good example is the subject of money. In Matthew 6, 24, Jesus said this, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he, else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Now, mammon is a word for all kinds of uh, possessions, earnings, and gains. Uh, loving mammon would be the same as being materialistic. <clears throat> now, it's easy for Christians, some Christians, uh, to take a verse like this and interpret it to mean that they should not have money at all. Um, <clears throat> and they shouldn't be interested even in having money. Uh, a lack of money might even be seen as a badge of honor, some proof that uh, they're not loving mammon. But if we think about it, a person uh, can have almost nothing and still be obsessed with money or the lack of it. Or a person could ha be very, very wealthy and also be obsessed with money or the lack of it. And so uh, it's not really how much money's in the bank account, the issue is more of a heart issue, what we put first, what we love more. On the one hand, um, or I should say on the other hand, uh, those who believe in God's will to prosper us financially sometimes steer clear of verses like this. Perhaps the concern is, is that it will somehow dampen or stunt our faith. We'll be less convinced that God wants us to prosper financially if we meditate on verses like this. But here's what uh, I believe a good suggestion is. What if we embrace this verse completely? Uh, why not make a bold declaration? I invite you, say with me right now if you would write out loud say after me uh, you cannot serve both God and mammon therefore I serve God that is an excellent confession to make now let's read a, a verse just a few verses later in the same passage where Jesus is talking he says in verse 33 of Matthew 6 but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Obviously, Jesus did not say, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be subtracted from you. That is just, that's just not the case. That's not what his will is. So if we do serve God and not mammon, if we do seek the kingdom and his righteousness first, then all these things will be added to us. So what uh, God says back of, again, a few verses earlier in verse 24, you cannot serve God and mammon, that isn't to my financial disadvantage, that's to my financial advantage. If I can be good with that, if I can embrace it, and that's the reason why we confess it, is we are embracing it in our heart, we're saying it out of our mouth. Um, God is able to uh, strengthen us to perform that when we own it, when we possess it, when we say it. Um, <clears throat> Uh, if we do that, then uh, we are seeking first the kingdom and we're not ensuring that we will now have lack because we're not loving them, but we're ensuring that these things will be added to us. So it's to our advantage. Um, everything that we're reading today is to our advantage. It's human temptation to lean to one side of a biblical issue. Uh, it's just easier to do it that way. It's not the right way to do it, but it's just easier. We are promoting the idea of expanding our hearts in order to embrace both sides of a biblical truth. In this case, uh, we serve God and not mammon. And when we do serve God and not mammon, he adds material possessions to us. We're glad you joined us today. I want to say again on a personal note that we're, we love you all and we are so glad to have a church family. We're so glad you're part of our church family and we pray for you. We care for you. We wish for you to contact us with any needs that you may have. Um, 
it is just necessary that, that we be part of a larger church family, and we're glad that you're with us. We'll see you next time.